What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to talk a little bit about this event, the Forbidden Knowledge event. The event was announced on the blog post, we got also a message in game and uh, the event will be here in just three days, so surprise surprise, if you're not ready, the event is coming anyway. Okay, so we will be talking about a little bit about this, it's the typical typical campaign event but now we have something new we have this new heroic difficulty which is very very interesting supposedly we are going to get teal gear on top of the typical character shards and those shards that allow you to open the orbs that contain strange supreme shards inside so it's going to be definitely interesting this new difficulty and uh, it has fake news here supposedly you only need supposedly you only need level 65 or something where it says oh it doesn't say it anymore okay so some time ago it was saying that you need level uh, 65 or 68 in order to enter it was not true maybe it's only for the first node but with each node that you complete on this heroic difficulty the difficulty will increase to the point where you'll need, as you can see right here, gear tier 15, level 85 and abilities level 6. Now we'll be doing this live when the event drops, Monday or, or, or it's Monday to Tuesday in Europe or it's on Monday in uh, the USA, something like that. I'll be doing this on uh, YouTube and on Twitch, so make sure you check it out. And uh, okay, so in terms of the characters that uh, we need for this event, we need characters with the unwilling tag. So let's take a look at the characters which we'll need for this situation. Where, where did I saw that level 65 requirements? I don't remember anymore, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's on this one. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay unwilling tag which characters can we use and which teams can we make and which team am i going to make i already made my decision like one week ago or so but we have very decent characters here we have scarlet witch strange supreme and kate bishop all of them new characters or at least these two new characters that have a lot of potential in terms of different game modes alliance wars uh, tower mode cosmic crucible and then we have the OG characters, we have uh, Gamora, Wolverine, Lady Deathstrike, uh, Sabretooth, Deadpool and uh, Nebula. Fine characters, most of them are top tier still and they are top tier like uh, in Raids or uh, in Alliance Wars, they are still pretty good in Alliance Wars and uh, those are going to be definitely good options. Okay, so we have Phoenix. Phoenix is not great for this type of events because you want to get three stars, otherwise you cannot uh, see it after. Then we have Ghost, we have Zemo, both characters that are not good. We have uh, now Scarlet Spider and Spider Punk. We don't have any other web warriors. This is not a good option in my opinion. These characters are decent, but in raids. Outside of raids, in campaigns, they are uh, average, they are... Uh, uh, mediocre, they are, some, they are not so great. Okay, we have more Pim Tech characters here with Yellow Jacket, we have Magneto, we have Colossus, so we have a few uncanny characters. The problem is that you need a Beast in order to use uh, Phoenix on campaigns. If you don't have Beast, there is no point because you'll always fail because Phoenix will die. We have the Juggernaut, so it's a big tank. And in terms of Young Avengers, we also have American Chavez here and we have Echo. We don't have Squirrel Girl and we don't have Miss Marvel, so we have an incomplete team. These characters, these three are still going to do a nice amount of damage. They still get the bonus HP and all of that, but it's not going to be that great, let's be honest. Okay, so which, which teams you could make? I, I, I guess this is a suggestion, of course. It's not the team I'm going to take, but you could, with American Chavez, get the Hero Brawlers tag from her passive, gives 25% more 
HP to our Hero Brawlers. And we have quite a few Hero Brawlers. We have Spider Punk and uh, Scarlet Spider. Both of them are Hero Brawlers, so they will get this 25% extra buff, extra HP. Then you can plug in Echo, and then you can plug in or Deadpool. Deadpool, she's also Hero Brawler, or Kate Bishop. Maybe the best option would be to remove Spider Punk because he's kind of trash and put Deadpool. So whenever you kill a, a character, she's going to attack, do more attacks and so on. And Spider uh, Scarlet Spider on his own is uh, pretty good. Spider Punk doesn't do much to him, especially once again in campaigns. If it was somewhere else, maybe. Okay, talking about uh, the Hero Brawlers, we also have Wolverine, he's also Hero Brawler. She's also Hero Brawler. But uh, she's not so great on her own. We have Nebula here, so you can do... Yeah, Nebula is here. So you can still have a combination of Euro Brawlers with Nebula. That's another good option. And uh, apart from that, not really. We have some Uncanny, but uh, like I said, without Beast, they're not that great. You could still use Colossus and Magic and then Euro Brawlers. You can still use the Wolverine together with Magic and Colossus. It's not a great option. I think uh, definitely the best second option, or at least an alternative option, in my opinion, would be, once again, Hero Brawlers with uh, Echo, with uh, K Bishop, and uh, with American Chavez. And then uh, take Deadpool Wolverine, or uh, Deadpool and uh, someone else, and Gamora or take just Gamora and Nebula. Okay, so which team am I going to take? <laughs> of course, you can see on the screen, I'm gonna take my Lady Death Strike, I'm gonna take my Silver Samurai, and I'm gonna take my Wolverine. Those characters, they are just amazing. They are a part of the best. It's still the best. It's still the best offensive team in Alliance Wars. The Weapon X, they still beat, if you put, the new Dark Hold on defense, the Weapon X is still going to beat them. So it's still a team that is number one in terms of uh, Alliance Wars. And it's still going to be for a very long time until we see the next Horseman that will be part of the, of the war meta. And uh, hopefully, or maybe it will change the, who is the best team overall. Uh, so yeah, I invested in these in this three characters. She is amazing in Raid, she is amazing in Dark Dimension, she is amazing uh, in War. I also use her very, very often on Arena. There are a few matches where she shines, especially if you're like facing Ella, and Ella is next to Icaris. You can double turn rewind them. Very, very useful. This guy is so, so underrated. He's one of the best tanks in the game. Very low cooldowns, very low gear. It was amazing. Uh, I spend gold promos on both of them because they are definitely worth it. And once again, we are talking about the best Alliance Wars team that even the next team with the Horsemen and whatever, this one is still number one. Very, very good. And the Wolverine is not super cheap, but he's still cheap. And because I had him at seven red stars and with the more Weapon X characters you have, the better Silver Samurai gets, I just decided to invest in him as well. So the team I'm going to take is these three Weapon X characters, Gamora and Nebula. They all have sustain, they all do insane amount of damage, and uh, I imagine that I will be able to just uh, completely crush the, this event without having any problems. Okay, so in terms of the orb, in terms of the orb that we have for this event, the orb is quite amazing. You can see right here the Unyielding, unyielding, I need to read properly, my dyslexic is terrible. Un unyielding orb, and uh, don't spend cores on this, it's not really necessary. Uh, but the characters that are available are quite amazing. So of course we are going to have Doctor Strange at a higher rate and with more tiers, up to 24 shards, if you are extremely lucky. But uh, on uh, most people will get these characters, and you can see we have amazing characters here. A lot of unfarmable characters, we have Deadpool, we have Echo, we have, uh, is that Jessica Jones? Yes, it is. Okay, we have Kate Bishop, we have Magic, 
We also have Lady Dead Striker. We have a Silver Samurai, one of the characters that I said is just very, very good. We have Scarlet Witch, Park of the Dark Cold team. We have a, a Scarlet Spider. We have a Spider Punk, amazing characters. We also have Yellow Jacket and Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo is very useful in many game modes and the Yellow Jacket is necessary to unlock Jubilee. And finally, we have Doctor Strange Supreme, Strange Supreme, whatever you want to call it. Very, very uh, good characters. And we also have some Kree minions. Why do we have Kree minions? It's so you can unlock Nick Fury. So after you can unlock Omega Red, one of the best characters in the game. And uh, yeah, it, it looks like an amazing orb. Looks like a very exciting event. Once again, we'll be streaming this on uh, Twitch and on YouTube. And after we'll see the highlights on my YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel some hours after. We still cannot find the campaign here. We still have to go here. And there it is. So forbidden knowledge, heroic event. Once again, the team I'm gonna take is Silver Samurai, Lady Death Strike, Wolverine, Nebula, and Gamora. All of these characters are meta, all of these characters are part of the, the two top teams right now in the game. So it's gonna be hopefully very, very easy, but make sure you stay tuned for that. So that's gonna be the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like always, make sure to smash that like button. And if you found the information helpful, make sure to share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content, and I'll catch you guys later.